Did you know that people who love their jobs are 50 more likely to exceed performance expectations? That's right. A staggering half of those who find genuine passion in their work consistently surpass what's asked of them. Now pause for a moment. Think about your own work. Are you part of that 50? Or do you find yourself counting down the hours until the workday ends? The truth is most of us spend about 90,000 hours at work over our lifetime. That's a third of our lives. Let that sink in. A third of your life dedicated to your profession. Now imagine spending all that time doing something you don't enjoy. Sounds daunting, doesn't it? But here's the kicking. Only 15 of employees worldwide report being engaged in their jobs. That means 85 of the global workforce is just going through the motions day in and day out. They're not tapping into their full potential, not making the impact they could, and certainly not experiencing the fulfillment that comes from doing work they truly love. These statistics painting a clear picture. There's a direct correlation between loving what you do and uh, achieving greatness in your work. It's not just about being happier, though that's certainly a significant benefit. It's about performance innovation and leaving a lasting mark on your chosen field. Consider this. Employees who are passionate about their work are 125 more productive than their disengaged counterparts. They're the ones coming up with groundbreaking ideas, pushing boundaries, and driving their organizations forward. They're the ones making history. But loving your work isn't just about personal satisfaction or company profits. It's about the ripple effect it creates in society. When people love what they do, they inspire others. They become role models, mentors, and catalysts for positive change. Their enthusiasm is contagious, spreading to colleagues, clients, and even competitors. Now you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but I'm stuck in a job I don't love. Or perhaps I don't even know what I'm passionate about. Don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, 70 of Americans report feeling unfulfilled in their current roles. But here's the good news. It's never too late to change course. The journey to loving your work isn't always straightforward. It requires self-reflection, courage, and sometimes a leap of faith. But the rewards are immeasurable. When you align your career with your passions, you unlock a level of potential you might never have known existed. Think about the great innovators and leaders throughout history. Steve Jobs, Oprah Winfrey, Elon Musk. What do they all have in common? An unwavering passion for their work. They didn't just clock in and clock out. They lived and breathed their missions. And look at the impact they've had on the world. But you don't have to be a household name to make a difference. Every day in every industry, there are people doing remarkable things simply because they love what they do. The teacher who stays late to help struggling students. The chef who experiments tirelessly to create the perfect dish. The programmer who works through the night to debug a critical system. These are the unsung heroes who drive our world forward fueled by their passion. So how do we bridge the gap? How do we move from being part of the disengaged 85 to joining the ranks of those who find true fulfillment in their work? It starts with understanding that loving your work isn't a luxury. It's It's the key to unlocking your full potential, to doing truly great work. In the coming moments, we'll explore the pathways to discovering and nurturing that love for your work. We'll delve into strategies for finding your true calling, methods for cultivating passion even in jobs that might seem mundane, and techniques for aligning your career with your deepest values. Remember, the goal isn't just to tolerate your job or even to like it. The aim is to love it so much that it hardly feels like work at all, to wake up every morning excited about the day ahead to feel a sense of purpose and fulfillment that extends far beyond your paycheck. So we continue. I want you to keep this thought in mind. Your work is not just a means to an end. It's not just about paying bills or climbing the corporate ladder. Your work is a significant part of your life story. It's an opportunity to to leave your mark on the world, to contribute something meaningful, to become the best version of yourself. So. Are you ready to transform your relationship with your work? 
Are you prepared to join the ranks of those who don't just do their jobs, but excel at them because they truly love what they do? The journey ahead may not always be easy, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Because when you love what you do, you're not just working, you're living. And that, my friends, is the key to doing truly great work. Now that we've established the critical importance of loving your work, let's focus on how to actually achieve this. There are three fundamental pillars that form the foundation of a truly fulfilling career. These pillars aren't just theoretical concepts. They're practical, actionable strategies that can transform your relationship with your work. The first pillar is discovering your true calling. This might sound daunting, but it's simpler than you think. Your true calling isn't necessarily some grand world-changing mission. It's the intersection of what you're good at, what you enjoy, and what the world needs. It's about finding that sweet spot where your talents meet your passions and create value for others. Start by asking yourself, what activities make you lose track of time? What topics can you discuss endlessly without getting bored? What problems do you find yourself naturally drawn to solving? The answers to these questions can provide valuable clues about your true calling. Remember, your calling isn't always obvious. Sometimes it's hidden in plain sight. Take Steve Jobs, for example. He didn't set out to revolutionize personal computing. He started by tinkering with electronics in his garage. But that tinkering led him to create products that changed the world. Your calling might be similarly concealed. It could be lurking in a hobby you've never considered monetizing or in a skill you've always taken for granted. The key is to pay attention to what energizes you, what challenges you in a good way, and what gives you a sense of accomplishment. Once you've identified potential areas of interest, it's time to explore them more deeply. This doesn't mean you need to quit your job and start from scratch. Start small. Take a class, volunteer, or start a side project. The goal is to gain practical experience and see if your interest holds up when you're actually doing the work. As you explore, pay attention to how you feel. Do you find yourself looking forward to working on these projects? Do you feel a sense of pride and satisfaction when you complete tasks in this area? These are good indicators that you're on the right track. But discovering your true calling is just the first step. The second pillar is equally important, cultivating passion in any job. Because the truth is, not everyone can immediately transition to their dream job. And even if you're in a field you love, there will always be aspects of the job that are less exciting. The good news is, passion isn't just something you find. It's something you can create. It's a skill you can develop like any other. And it starts with your mindset. Instead of waiting for the perfect job to come along, start by finding ways to bring more passion to your current role. Look for opportunities to learn and grow. Set challenging goals for yourself. Find ways to connect your work to your personal values and larger life goals. For example, if you're working in customer service but dream of being a writer, how can you bring more creativity into your current role? Could you craft more engaging emails? Could you write a blog for the company website? Could you create a handbook for new employees? The key is to shift your perspective. Instead of seeing your job as just a paycheck, view it as a platform for personal growth and skill development. Every task, no matter how mundane, is an opportunity to learn something new or refine an existing Another powerful way to cultivate passion is to focus on the impact of your work. No matter what your job is, you're providing value to someone. A janitor isn't just cleaning floors. They're creating a safe, healthy environment for others to work and learn. A data entry clerk isn't just inputting numbers. They're ensuring the accuracy of information that could be crucial for decision making. When you connect your work to a larger purpose, even the most routine tasks can become meaningful. This doesn't mean you have to save the world every day. It's about recognizing the ripple effect of your efforts, no matter how small they might seem. Additionally, building relationships at work can significantly boost your passion. Humans are social creatures, and feeling connected to our colleagues can make a huge difference in our job satisfaction. Take the time to get to know your coworkers. 
collaborate on projects, share ideas, celebrate each other's successes. When you're part of a supportive, engaged team, work becomes more than just a job. It becomes a community. Now, let's move on to the third pillar, aligning your values with your career. This is where the rubber really meets the road. Because even if you're good at your job and find ways to be passionate about it, if it doesn't align with your core values, you'll always feel a sense of disconnect. Your values are your guiding principles, the things that matter most to you in life. They might include things like creativity, independence, helping others, continuous learning, or financial security. When your work aligns with these values, you're more likely to feel fulfilled and motivated. So how do you align your values with your career? Start by getting clear on what your values actually are. Take some time for self-reflection. What principles do you refuse to compromise on? What do you want your life to stand for? What kind of impact do you want to have on the world? Once you've identified your core values, look at your current job or career path. How well does it align with these values? Are there ways you can bring more of your values into your work? For instance, if one of your core values is environmental sustainability, but you work in an industry that's not traditionally green, could you spearhead initiatives to make your workplace more environmentally friendly? If you value creativity, but work in a highly structured role, could you find ways to bring creative problem solving to your tasks? Sometimes aligning your values with your career might mean making bigger changes. It might mean shifting to a different role within your company, changing industries, or even starting your own business. These decisions aren't easy, but they're often necessary if you wanted to achieve true fulfillment in your work. Now, remember, this isn't about finding a perfect job where every single task aligns perfectly with your values. It's about finding a career path where on balance, you feel that your work is in harmony with what you believe in and what matters most to you. As you work on aligning your career with your values, you might face some tough choices. You might have to turn down a high paying job that doesn't align with your principles. You might need to take a pay cut to transition into a field that resonates more with your values. These decisions can be scary, but they're often the key to long-term satisfaction and success. Think about it this way. When your work aligns with your values, you're not just doing a job. You're living your purpose. You're contributing to the world in a way that feels authentic and meaningful to you. And that's when work stops feeling like work and starts feeling like a calling. Now, you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but is it really possible for everyone? The answer is yes, absolutely. But it requires effort, self-reflection, and often a willingness to step out of your comfort zone. It's important to note that loving your work doesn't mean every day will be perfect. There will still be challenges, frustrations, and days when you'd rather stay in bed. But when you've discovered your true calling, learn to cultivate passion and align your work with your values. These tough days become the exception rather than the rule. Moreover, when you truly love what you do, you're better equipped to handle these challenges. You have a reservoir of passion and purpose to draw from, which can fuel you through the difficult times. You're more resilient, more creative in problem solving, and more likely to persevere when faced with obstacles. As we wrap up this section on the three pillars of loving your work, I want you to take a moment to reflect on your own career. Where do you stand with each of these pillars? Have you discovered your true calling? Are you actively cultivating passion in your current role? Does your work align with your core values? If you find yourself falling short in any of these areas, don't be discouraged. Remember, loving your work is a journey, not a destination. It's something you build over time through conscious effort and continuous self-reflection. The good news is you've already taken the first step by recognizing the importance of loving what you do. You're aware that there's more to work than just earning a paycheck. You understand that your career is a significant part of your life's journey, and you're committed to making it as fulfilling and meaningful as possible. In the next section, we'll tackle some of the common obstacles you might face on this journey. 
We'll discuss strategies for maintaining motivation when things get tough techniques for continuous growth and learning and methods for balancing your passion with practical considerations. Remember, the goal isn't perfection, it's progress. Every step you take towards loving your work is a step towards a more fulfilling, successful, and impactful career. And that's not just good for you. It's good for your colleagues, your organization, and the world at large. So are you ready to take the next step on this journey? Are you prepared to overcome the obstacles that might stand in your way? Let's move forward and explore how to sustain and deepen your love for your work, even in the face of challenges and setbacks. You've taken the first crucial steps towards loving your work. You've identified your true calling, learned to cultivate passion, and aligned your career with your values. But the journey doesn't end there. In fact, this is where the real work begins. Because loving what you do isn't a one-time achievement. It's an ongoing process that requires effort, resilience, and adaptability. Let's face it, no matter how much you love your work, you'll encounter obstacles. There will be days when your motivation wanes, when challenges seem insurmountable, or when the daily grind threatens to extinguish your passion. How you handle these moments can make or break your love affair with your work. So, how do you maintain your enthusiasm when the going gets tough? It starts with perspective. When you hit a roadblock, remind yourself why you chose this path in the first place. Recall the excitement you felt when you first discovered your calling. Think about the impact your work has on others. This mental shift can reignite your passion and help you push through difficult times. Another powerful strategy is to break big challenges into smaller, manageable tasks. When you're faced with a daunting project or a seemingly impossible goal, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But remember, every great achievement is the result of small, consistent efforts. By focusing on one step at a time, you can maintain your momentum and avoid burnout. It's also crucial to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Did you complete a challenging task? Learn a new skill? Receive positive feedback from a colleague? Take a moment to acknowledge these wins. They're not just ego boosts. They're reminders of your progress and capability. They fuel your motivation and reinforce your love for what you do. But what about those times when external factors threaten your passion? Perhaps your industry is going through changes or your company is facing difficulties. In these situations, it's important to focus on what you can control. You may not be able to change market conditions or company policies, but you can control your response to them. Look for opportunities within the challenges. How can you adapt? What new skills can you learn? How can you contribute to solutions? Remember, setbacks are not just obstacles. They're opportunities for growth. Every challenge you overcome makes you more resilient, more skilled, and more valuable. It deepens your understanding of your field and strengthens your commitment to your work. Now let's address a critical aspect of sustaining your love for your works. Continuous growth and learning. The moment you stop growing is the moment your passion begins to wane. Stagnation is the enemy of enthusiasm. So how do you ensure that you're constantly evolving in your career? Start by staying curious. Approach each day with a learner's mindset. Ask questions. Seek out new experiences. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone. Remember, expertise isn't just about knowing all the answers. It's about asking the right questions and being open to new insights. Make learning a habit. Set aside time each week to read industry publications, attend webinars, or take online courses. Don't just focus on your immediate job responsibilities. Explore related fields and interdisciplinary topics. The most innovative ideas often come from combining knowledge from different domains. Seek out mentors and role models. Find people who excel in your field and learn from them. Study their habits, their mindset, their approach to challenges. But don't just admire them from afar reach out. Most successful people are willing to share their knowledge with those who show genuine interest and initiative. 
Additionally, consider becoming a mentor yourself. Teaching others not only reinforces your own knowledge, but also gives you fresh perspectives. It reignites your passion by reminding you of the impact your expertise can have on others. Another crucial aspect of continuous growth is feedback. Actively seek constructive criticism from colleagues, supervisors, and clients. It might be uncomfortable at first, but it's one of the fastest ways to improve. Remember, feedback isn't a judgment of your worth. It's a tool for growth. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it to refine your skills and approach. Now, with tackle a challenge that many people face. Balancing passion with practicality. It's wonderful to love what you do, but you also need to make a living. How do you reconcile your passion with the realities of bills, responsibilities, and career advancement? First, recognize that passion and practicality aren't mutually exclusive. In fact, when you love what you do, you're more likely to excel at it. And excellence often leads to better opportunities and financial rewards. But it might not happen overnight. Be patient with yourself and your career progression. If you're in a situation where your passion doesn't immediately translate into a sustainable income, consider a dual approach. Keep your day job while pursuing your passion on the side. Use your free time to develop skills, build a network, and gain experience in your chosen field. This approach allows you to maintain financial stability while working towards your dream career. Remember, loving your work doesn't mean you have to be in your dream job from day one. It's about finding meaning and joy in what you do while continuously working towards your goals. Sometimes this means finding ways to incorporate your passions into your current role. Other times it means using your current job as a stepping stone to where you want to be. It's also important to define what success means to you. Society often equates success with a high salary or prestigious title. But if these don't align with your values and passions, achieving them won't bring you fulfillment. Take the time to define your own version of success. Maybe it's making a difference in people's lives, creating something innovative, or achieving a healthy work-life balance. When your definition of success aligns with your passions, you're more likely to feel satisfied with your career choices. Engines now, they're a common pitfall. The danger of turning your passion into an obligation. When you love what you do, it's easy to become overly devoted to your work. You might find yourself working long hours, neglecting other aspects of your life, and eventually burning out. This can turn something you once loved into a source of stress and resentment. To avoid this, it's crucial to maintain boundaries and practice self-care. Remember, loving your work doesn't mean you have to love it every minute of every day. It's okay to have off days. It's okay to need breaks. In fact, taking time away from work can actually enhance your passion and productivity when you return. Develop interests and relationships outside of work. Engage in hobbies that have nothing to do with your career. Spend time with loved ones. Take care of your physical and mental health. These practices not only prevent burnout, but also make you more well-rounded and resilient. They give you perspective and can even inspire new ideas and approaches in your work. Another key to sustaining your love for your work is adaptability. The world is constantly changing and your industry is likely evolving too. To maintain your passion, you need to be willing to evolve with it. Stay informed about trends in your field. Be open to new technologies and methodologies. Be willing to unlearn old habits and embrace new ways of doing things. This doesn't mean you should chase every trend or completely reinvent yourself every few years. Instead, it's about being flexible and open-minded. It's about seeing change as an opportunity rather than a threat. When you approach your work with this mindset, you're more likely to stay engaged and passionate, even as your role or industry evolves. Now let's talk about the power of community in sustaining your love for your work. Surround yourself with people who share your passion. Join professional associations, attend industry events, participate in online forums. These connections can provide support, inspiration, and opportunities for collaboration.
But don't just connect with people in your exact role or industry. Seek out diverse perspectives. Talk to people in related fields or even in completely different industries. These conversations can spark new ideas, broaden your understanding, and reignite your passion in unexpected ways. Remember, loving your work isn't just about what you do. It's also about who you do it with. Foster positive relationships with your colleagues. Create a supportive, collaborative work environment. When you enjoy the people you work with, it amplifies your enjoyment of the work itself. As we near the end of our discussion, I want to emphasize a crucial point. Loving your work is not a destination. It's a journey. It's not about reaching a perfect state where you never face challenges or doubts. It's about cultivating a mindset and a set of habits that allow you to find joy, meaning, and fulfillment in what you do, even when faced with obstacles. There will be ups and downs. There will be times when your passion burns bright and times when it flickers. The key is to have the tools and mindset to navigate these fluctuations, to see challenges as opportunities for growth, to view setbacks as temporary, not permanent, to continuously reconnect with your purpose and values. So as you move forward in your career, keep these principles in mind. Stay curious, embrace challenges, never stop learning, take care of yourself, build meaningful connections, be adaptable, and above all, remember why you chose this path in the first place. Your work is more than just a job. It's a significant part of your life story. It's an opportunity to express your talents, to grow as a person, to contribute something meaningful to the world. When you approach your work with this mindset, you're not just doing a job. You're living your purpose. And that, my friends, is the true secret to doing great work. It's not just about skills or knowledge, though these are important. It's about bringing your whole self to what you do. It's about infusing your work with passion, creativity, and purpose. It's about loving what you do so much that it hardly feels like work at all. So I challenge you, from this moment on, approach your work not as a burden, but as an opportunity. An opportunity to learn, to grow, to make a difference. Look for the meaning in your daily tasks. Seek out challenges that push you to grow. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. And never ever stop striving to align your work with your deepest values and passions. Because when you truly love what you do, you don't just do great work. You inspire others to do the same. You become a force for positive change in your workplace, in your industry, and in the world. And that, ultimately, is the greatest reward of all. As we conclude, I want you to take a moment to reflect on your own journey. Think about how far you've come and where you want to go next. What's one step you can take today to deepen your love for your work? What's one challenge you can reframe as an opportunity for growth? What's one way you can bring more of your passion and values into your daily tasks? Remember, the power to love your work and do great things lies within you. It's not about waiting for the perfect job or the perfect circumstances. It's about choosing every day to bring your best self to what you do, to find meaning in your work, to continuously learn and grow, to connect your efforts to a larger purpose. So go forth with renewed enthusiasm and commitment, embrace the challenges, celebrate the victories, and never stop striving to do work that you truly love. Because when you do, you're not just building a career, you're crafting a life of purpose, fulfillment, and impact. And that, my friends, is what doing great work is all about.